Hey everybody, welcome to the AI Guide where we focus on the human impact of AI and spot on story right now. I saw a headline that said, Tesla adopts interior radar for interior monitoring. I have been telling my viewers for a while now that interior monitoring is coming to cars very soon and in Tesla's case, it is now here. With the shift towards electric vehicles, end users are becoming less concerned about traditional things like engine horsepower and are placing greater emphasis on smart functions in the interior. This trend is compelling automotive OEMs, original equipment manufacturers, to invest more efforts in enhancing interior features, thereby adding greater value to their products and distinguishing them from other vehicles. So the car experience is now going to change dramatically. Driven by regulations such as Euro NCAP, which by the way, leads the world in regulations surrounding AI, driver monitoring systems, DMS, have gained significant traction and have transitioned from a luxury feature to a new norm. So this means that you are going to be watched in new cars. How so? Let's learn more about that. Due to their relatively low cost, they are anticipated to be increasingly adopted. That's driver monitoring systems. Advanced features such as gesture control, child presence detection, and seatbelt detection are also expected to gain momentum especially in mid to high-end vehicles where this stuff always starts. Currently, the 3D time-of-flight camera stands out as the most widely used technology for DMS, while some automotive OEMs such as Volvo and Tesla are incorporating in-cabin radar modules. Radar has played an important role in advanced driver assistance systems, that's ADAS, which we've talked about many times for over two decades. Historically, radar modules have prominently been employed for exterior sensing rather than interior applications. As of 2023, according to Tesla's website, the in-cabin radar operates within a frequency range of 60 to 64 gigahertz, falling within the license-free ISM band which means, you know, Tesla doesn't have to pay a license fee to anyone for this, usually the government. The detection distance of these radar modules typically ranges from half a meter to two meters, effectively covering the interior space of the car. So who are some of the big radar manufacturers? Infineon, IMEC, Bayer, LG, Enotech, Texas Instruments, Vallejo, NXP, Akineer, and WHST. Similar to radar modules, 3D time of flight TOF cameras also find application and occupant monitoring. However, privacy concerns surround the use of cameras, even though some suppliers assert they can address this issue by either blurring people's faces or storing data only on board the vehicle and not in the cloud. An additional limitation of 3D TOF cameras is that unlike in-cabin radar modules, they are unable to detect people or objects through obstacles, like it can't see into the backseat for kids at a low level. Furthermore, due to their reliance on computer vision technology, cameras necessitate intricate algorithms and recalibration. Some suppliers are actively working to address privacy concerns and improve the overall capabilities of 3D TOF cameras for occupant monitoring systems, OMS, in automotive applications, as opposed to a driver monitoring system. Occupants, all occupants, OMS. As of now, 3D TOF cameras are more well adopted for OMS and have advanced features compared to radar. 3D TOF cameras are adopted in Lee Autos, vehicles, BMW, and the new Arc Fox, where radar modules are expecting adoption in Tesla and Volvo. So like everything else, the car manufacturer 
picks different versions from other car manufacturers based on what they want to do. So how much do these TOF camera packages cost? About $150, so it's not an expensive piece of equipment, but the radar is even cheaper than that. So this article goes on to say that obviously the resolution is higher with the cameras than with radar, which is to be expected. However, the processing cost is much higher for the camera than for radar. So what does all this mean? Well, driver monitoring systems are coming to cars. Why? A, they want to make sure that people don't fall asleep at the wheel, which causes a bunch of accidents every year. And these driver monitoring systems can make a loud sound if, when they detect someone has fallen asleep at the wheel. This is a good thing. Another thing that none of these articles have mentioned that I've mentioned several times before is drunk driving. These systems will put a dead stop to drunk driving if allowed for that use. That's another huge proportion of fatal accidents. Falling asleep and drunk driving are the great majority of fatal accidents. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon link below. We have to have your support. No channel can exist for a long period of time without support in one way or another. That either means ads or sponsor support, or you click that link and support us on Patreon. So thanks so much for tuning in. See you next time. Take care. Bye.